Alright, the sun's out right now, but we do have about a 30% chance of rain, and it was raining coming down here, so I got my rain jacket, too. We're not totally waterproof, but we're, we, we're set up. We're gonna go down and hit the beach. Um, a lot of people have been hitting the beach. It's been uh, under a lot of pressure from detectors lately. But the only thing we can hope for now is some old stuff to wash up, and it does. So let's get down here and see what we can find. Here we go. Alright, it looks a little calm out there actually today. We do have our waders on today, so as you can see, we will uh, be able to get in the water a little bit anyway. Maybe we can find a little something down close to the water, I'm hoping. Low tide is actually in about, um, about an hour and a half. So we're, we're in pretty good shape as far as time goes. Alright, let's get down here. See what we can find. What's going to be our first find today? I don't know. I gotta eat this restaurant one of these days. People sit outside here. Looks like a pretty nice place to eat. This one too, Ocean 80s. People sit on the side right there and eat. Looks pretty nice. Oh boy, it's a beautiful day. People out jogging, running. I love it. All right, let's get out here. Here we go. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, Matt? You've been doing pretty good lately. You got a couple of nice silvers the other day, yeah, didn't you? I've gotten three silvers in the last week, so I'm doing That's good. pretty good. He just picked this up. Hey, that looks like silver. Some kind of metal. It's got that nice dark tone to it. I'll try to take a picture of that and see what that is. Looks pretty interesting though. Nothing nothing written on back doesn't look like though. So Alright, we'll check it out later. Alright, let's get out here and find some gold, Jimmy. Alright, hopefully this is gonna be our first coin. Second target right here. Not a lot of targets down here today. All the depositors have left the area. But this is a nice 20 here with I mean, 20 can be a lot of things, but most 90% chance it's going to be a penny. But it also could be gold. And it's a penny, I see it. Alright, well we got something in the bag now anyway. Got the skunk at the bag. Let's put it in there. Third target of the day right here. I see it's not real strong, but it's bounced around 29.30, so. But it's deep, very deep, so we got to go way down on this target, I'm telling you. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get a deep one for sure. Alright. Let's see if we got it here. I guarantee we did. I knew we did because I can tell the signal's really deep here. Well, hitting something right there. I gotta go back up a little bit there. It could be a pretty show, right? It looks like it could be a rock too. Alright. Ah. Still in the hole. Still in a hole in this deep. Man, it's deep, buddy. Alright, go. Still in a hole in this deep. Coming out at a different angle here. Alright, go. Alright. Gotta make sure there's not two targets in that hole. Doesn't sound like it. Alright, we're going down there. I know it's going to be a lot deeper than I expect, I think, because it's a pretty weak signal. Alright, let's see. Not hearing it. Whoa, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's in there. I see it. It's a quarter. It is right there. First quarter today. Alright, back it up. Alright, we finally got some glitter in the sand. Looks like a G, G E or G L maybe at some point in time. I think it's be junk jewelry, but hey, it's better than nothing. All right, let's keep digging. All right, we run into Denny on the beach here. It looks like he's already dug a cell phone. Look at that, an LG. I, I've not found that many lately, Denny. A lot of times you find a lot. Oh my goodness, look at Denny. He got a pocket full of goodies. That's a nice little ring there. Chunks of carbide probably, right? I don't know, it's a little light. I oh, like the cross heavy. too now. Don't put the cross away. Don't hold off on me. Oh, yeah, I got silver cross, I think. Silver, maybe cross. That's a nice looking one. I like that. That's going to clean up yeah. nice. We got a pocket I, knife back there. That does too. look silver, too. Nice, Jenny. I like it, man. Nothing wrong with that right there. Better than I've been doing. All I got is junk jewelry and a little bit of change. That ain't got a whole oh, lot of change. Oh, i am get this. All right, he's got one more thing to show us here. Uh, I want to mention one more thing. Uh, something new to me today. I've never dug that many bottle caps next to the water normally. But today, every other target has been a bottle cap next to the water. 
Oh, he's got a nice little pocket knife too. Look at that. Well, Denny, you're doing a lot better than I have today. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm telling I'm you. Doing something anyway. Doing something anyway. I like it, man. All right. Well, we got to get him find some more, Denny. You ready? All right. Let's do it. All right. Got to hit a thick of something down here. I think I saw something right here. Yeah, here it is. What is it? Oh, it's a fishing reel. That's a drag tightener for the fishing line. Man, I thought I had something good there. All right, let's bag it up. All right, looks like we got some more uh, junk jewelry. This is a little pendant with a K. I would assume the girl's name starts with a K, maybe. Anyway, let's keep hunting. Here we go. All right, as you see behind me right here, they're starting to pump sand in from the inlet over there to dredge this inlet out, and they're pumping sand through this pipe onto the beach. That might be where some of my light material is coming from right there. Possibility. All right, you see the bulldozer being here, shifting it all around here some, but uh, anyway, we're gonna hunt them up a little bit, a little bit up here. Stay tuned. All right, here's a quick view of the inlet. Got some people throwing a cast net over there, some people fishing, a couple kayaks fishing along this edge right here. I don't know if y'all see them or not, but uh, another big boat getting ready to come in. Few people on the beach, but not a lot. Not a lot. The deposits are definitely going away. Doing some good surfing out there. Anyway, we'll start heading back right now. Hopefully we hit something on the way back. All right, stay tuned. All right, yesterday I was uh, freezing all day after trying to dive in the water. Today, I'm sweating like crazy. I did put my waders on. Uh, the weather this time of year just changes fast. We're gonna go back to the car, get something to drink, maybe something to eat, and uh, maybe change some shorts course sleeve shirt maybe. Let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we've rebooted. We got us a little something to eat at Jimmy John's. I like me some Jimmy John's. And I got our short sleeve shirt on and our shorts on. Man, I was burning up in them uh, uh, waders there. They was cooking me. Feels good in here. Hopefully we won't get any rain. We do have some black clouds in the distance there, but hopefully we'll be all right. We're gonna hit them up for another couple hours and see what we can do. I tell you, it's weak today though. I don't expect too much because the targets are far and few between. A lot of light stuff up, up uh, on the on the slope there, so I don't know. Let's get out here and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, we got a lot more deposits on the beach. Uh, maybe they'll drop a little something for us. I don't know. We'll see. But we definitely got a black cloud back there. I feel a little rain coming. Hope he's got a silver line that's gonna drop off to me, but we'll have to see about that. Ocean's pretty today, always. Few people in the water, not a lot now. That water is cold. All right, let's see what we can find. Here we go. We gotta keep an eye on that right there. All right, we got a nice target here. And we are nine inches down in the ground. And I see our target down here, still buried. Can y'all see it? Anybody know what that is? A Neptune token. All right, we got one. I'll come up here to see if I can find another one. I found a couple the other day. Let me see if there's any left up here. Sure enough, we got us a token. Pretty awesome, man. I think it's down deep to you. There's more even deeper, but I can I barely, barely got a signal on it. It was kind of at an angle, so it's probably giving me a little less of a signal too. But anyway, we got a target and we got it. I like it. All right, rain, rain, go away. Come and get another day. Man, I tell you, it's starting to... It's starting to rain down pretty good here, and uh, we got our rain jacket with us, so we do have that. We're not waterproof now, we got our waders off, but anyway, hope it won't last too long. I can tell it's going to be a little bit though, so we're going to get a little wet. I ain't too bad. Alright, let's uh, let's keep hunting here, see if we can't find something. I, I've got two cent off this beach. Normally you can walk up on dry sand and dig a few coins here and there, but today not so much. I don't know. Just targets are just far and few between today. So. Alright, we're gonna keep giving another shot for another hour. Maybe two. We'll see. Alright, gig lesson. You know when you get one target, that's where the quarter came from. You always check around, look at this. I think we got another one. I think we got another one right here. Sometime they pull the blanket up. Spill a bunch of coins sometime. So you gotta check it. Kinda deep too, actually. Might be another one here, too. Who knows? No, it's just a tough one. Don't want to come out, does it? But I can hear it. I know there's something down there. Whoops. Man. 
All right, stay tuned. All right, we got it out. And I see it. It's another quarter right here beside that one. All right, maybe we get a little heavy area here or just a coin spill. We'll definitely check this in a, walk in a circle around where they just slowly walk around bigger and bigger and make sure it's not some more in here. All right, stay tuned. This is probably my last target of the day. I don't know what it is yet. I see gold. Probably an earring. Hope you be. It might be some uh, gold in it. Oh wow, it's got a lot of ice on it. It'd be awesome if it was gold. But I don't think it's going to be. It's pretty though. Definitely pretty. The last target of the day. End up with the right pretty little earring. All right, let's bag it up. We'll clean it. We'll get home and uh, see if it's got any markers on it. But it doesn't look like it to me. Pretty cool though. I like it. Well, we got a little wet today, but nothing wrong with getting wet. Makes you feel alive, I'm telling you. Nothing wrong with that. We met up with FedEx Jimmy this morning. He had a, a medallion. He called it, uh, he, he actually sent me an email. I'll put a picture of it up in the corner here. It's a medallion. It's a seal of the seven archangels, amulet, pendant, witch, pagan, jewelry for protection from evil spirits. Boy, I tell you, you never know what you're going to find on the beach, do you? Anyway. Also, Denny. We saw Denny, and Denny had a lot. I had a cell phone, a knife, a ring, and the ring was, I think, titanium. Uh, but he did hit gold. He said, right after he left us, he found a 10 karat gold earring. So that's cool. Congratulations on the gold, Denny. I think it was one point some gram, 1.3 grams or something. But anyway, gold is gold. That's what we're looking for, man. I'm telling you, any gold. We'll take it all. My temperature went up about maybe one degree today since then he found something it actually went up a little bit maybe 1.5 degrees today you know when somebody didn't find anything that go up when you see gold it goes up even higher but uh, we did pretty good today we got some pretty cool interesting uh relics here so i got a couple i'm gonna need some help with so stay tuned for those i'm gonna show those to you i'm not sure what they are but they're pretty cool looking let's check it out all right uh we got the normal junk stuff eyeglass holder key a bullet uh, some bullet cases here, a fishing lure. I dug more um, beer tops in this wet sand than I've ever dug today. It just kind of tells me there's a lot of light material working its way into the sand right now. A lot of, the sand was kind of soft, so I guess it's, um, I don't know, it's blowing in. or I'm not sure what's going on, but it's not that nice hard sand with heavy material in it as much today. A lot of little small uh, beer top things there. I did go up on the dry sand. Some of that did come from up there. I actually got over three dollars of clay, which I didn't think I had two dollars hardly, but I actually got to end up over uh, three, so which is pretty good. All right, the first thing we're talking about is this right here. I'm gonna put a picture up there. Of this first, I thought it was a piece of the standard stuff I'm always getting here, like this right here. I'm always finding pieces of um, military stuff, but that's definitely not military. That is like from an old pot or something, I think. If anybody has any clue what that's from, please let me know. It almost looks like a Native American design on it to me, but I don't know. That's pretty cool right there, actually, I think. Not sure what that is. Uh, this right here, I'll put a picture of this up here. It, it's a, like a, a lead seal, but it almost looks to me like it's an eagle. I'm going to have to throw it in my tumble and clean it up and see if it is an eagle. And it almost looks like a head with two eagle wings on each side, but I'm not sure about that. little small thing there. Y'all saw me dig this right here. I dug one half, and I kept detecting near it, and it got that half. I guess it goes like this. I'm thinking, glam, I guess. Anybody know what that is? Comment below. Uh, another little pendant. Got a K. I'm sure that's the person's uh, first initial name or something. Uh, this right here says Adidas. And I found one some of this before, and I was thinking it's like an old bathing suit type thing. But I'm thinking now a watch. After I clean it off and see Adidas, I'm thinking it's more modern and probably a watch or something. And we did find some dog tags. Axel. I'll hide the name here. Axel is getting his tags back. Axel lost his tags, I guess, this weekend. Uh, I, I called the number that was on the tag. And uh, it got a rabies tag on it, too. And uh, they said, sure, we'd like to get it back. They just lost it. They just left the beach yesterday. So they just lost it this past week. And uh, so Axel is going to get his tags back. Not only do we return rings to the owners, we return tags to dogs. We'll, we'll return anything if we can. So, anyway, people like to get stuff like that because otherwise they'd have to call the place, get it remade, everything. So, 
We'll get, we'll take it. We're not going to send this little thing here back. It's all been up. We'll put that right in the envelope and be able to send it right back right there. Uh, got another uh, one of these um, tokens from the uh, Neptune Festival right here. Did dig one of those. And I got this right here. That's the last target I dug. It almost looks gold. And we're going to test it. I'm going to show you one time. For those of you who haven't seen me test it, how to test something, what you do is you want to do a scratch test on it. What you do is you scratch it like this. So you get a nice... You can see a clear mark. It's gold looking too. Look at that. See how it's nice, nice, good mark. And if you get one of these kits, and I got these kits in my Amazon links in my video description. If you click on it, you'll you'll see one of these. But they come different than one. This is a 10 carat. And this is acid. And what they designed this to do, so if it's at least 10 carat, this will not dissolve that that right there. So what you do is you put a put a piece on it, and you see right now. It's eating it really quick, so we know that's not gold. If it was gold, that acid would not eat it through it right there. Then you'll have, you know, 14 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat. You can do different ones to see how uh, which acids get stronger and eat it depending on the mixture of the gold content. So that tells you if it's gold or not, but that is not gold right there. But it was pretty when I found it. It gets you excited when you see that gold shine up in the sand. But uh, anyway, we're going to get those tags in the mail uh, tomorrow. And uh, we had a great day today. Uh, we did get wet, but you know what? It don't matter. We're just out there having a good time, getting some treasure size, and enjoying life. Love it. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know where we're going next. Stay tuned.